live at 6. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Isley. He faced four serious criminal charges for killing four people in a terrible crash 25 days ago. But suddenly today, the young driver stood up in court and accepted responsibility. Our Brandon Scott is on the story, 6 View Live. John and Mallory, we are at the courthouse where I was the only reporter inside today when Jacob Olson entered his plea. He was quiet, he was calm, and he sat at the front of the courtroom with his parents. Now you could really see the emotion on their faces. Both of them seem to be holding back tears as they listen to their teenage son admit to causing a car accident that killed four people. 17 year old Jacob Olson appeared somber today, quickly entering juvenile court with his parents. This is a very difficult situation for everybody involved, including Jacob's family. Attorney Christopher Lathrop represents Olson and entered his plea, an admission to four counts of misdemeanor motor vehicle homicide. Olson was driving the pickup truck that caused this horrific Easter Sunday crash northeast of Valley, leaving four people dead. He admits he ran a stop sign. Mr. Olson would like to take responsibility for what he did and, uh, and try and make this as painless on the, the families as possible. How are you and the family doing? We're not doing good at all. Olson's admission isn't enough for Gerilyn Shook. Her brother, 49-year-old Jason Miller, was one of the four victims. To me, that's felony motor vehicle homicide. It's like him taking a gun out of his truck and killing all four people. Shook's family had to cremate her brother. The crash left his body unfit for a burial. She's angry that she couldn't see him to say goodbye, and she wants Olson to be tried as an adult. And I'd like to see him go to prison, let him think about it, and put all four pictures in that prison cell. If you could talk to this young man and his family, what would you say? Ask him why he was so stupid. What made him think he could run that stop sign? And if he says that he feels badly about it? I still wouldn't believe you. Coming up at 6.30, we'll hear more from Gerilyn Shook, including why she is angry with the court. Meantime, Jacob Olson will be back here at the courthouse next month for sentencing. He could face as little as parole or a stiffer sentence of juvenile rehabilitation. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Danker, Brandon Scott, WOWT 6 News.